To start your batik fabric project, take a chunk of tape off of the masking tape roll and then rip four little pieces. You're going to tape down the fabric onto your table, making sure that it's nice and taut and wrinkle free. Next, take your cookie cutter and the narrow side you're going to put into the glue. Don't move it around too much, just up and down, up and down a few times. If a little bubble forms, stick your finger through it to pop that bubble and let any drips drip off before you carry it over to the center of the fabric and then press it down. Let it sit there for a second or two so the glue can slide off the edge. And remember, you're using the narrow edge. Oops, I dropped it. Oops, I hope that didn't uh, make a ma mistake on there. But, well, you might get some drips here and there. It's just the nature of the project. Dip your cookie cutter again and place it side by side. Or you can overlap. It depends on how you want to do your, your design. Let it sit. Let that glue slide off the edge. You're just going to barely see it. And continue to fill up your fabric with your cookie cutter shape. And I like to do an alternating pattern. You can overlap if you like. Doesn't matter. It's just how you'd like to do it. You will notice as time goes on, the glue will be more visible as it soaks into the fabric. Space them evenly, try not to drip, and if you have to, you can re-dip and place it right on top just to get a little bit more glue on. Now we're going to add another motif. A motif is a shape that's repeated in your pattern. So far I have a flower motif and now I'm going to add this circle. I want everybody to put circles in because when we display them that will be the common element or the common motif that will tie all our fabric together when we display it. So fill up all the extra space that you have with those polka dots. When you think you're done, have me check it, and then you're going to wipe your hands off, get rid of all that glue on your hands, then carefully peel back that tape and lift off the fabric. Don't set it back down on the table because there's glue on the table and you'll get glue where you don't want it. And remember, the glue is gonna block the paint when we paint it next time. Put it in the back room on one of the plastic panels that are on the floor and it's going to dry and next time we will paint it. Do your best work boys and girls and have fun doing it.